สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a It's Wednesday, March 8th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. A 30-year-old Thai man is facing attempted murder charges here in Phuket for firing his gun at another man in the car park of Bashira Phuket Hospital on Tuesday, following an argument over a parking space. The incident took place at 9:30 a.m. at the fifth-floor car park of the main government hospital on the island on Tuesday. Police found the 30-year-old suspect Tanakon Tongek still carrying his semi-automatic pistol on his right hip, and he was taken into custody after they chained and locked the wheels of his pickup truck. Police also picked up the other man, named only as Mr. Natapat. Police say that Natapat was in his car behind the suspect's truck, looking for parking. The suspect allegedly drove past an empty space, stopped, tried to reverse into it. But Natapat believes he was too close, and he honked his horn a few times. In response, the suspect exited his truck. Some words were exchanged, but nothing happened at that moment. The suspect parked his truck, and Natapat drove on to find another parking space. After he was some distance away, reports say the suspect pulled his gun out, walked several paces to get a clear shot, and fired. The bullet missed Natapat and his mother, who was also in the vehicle, but it hit the front bumper and lodged in the car's engine bay. Footage from security CCTV cameras in the car park seemed to uphold Natapat's version of events, according to police. However, officers were still continuing their investigation, though they have charged Danakon with attempted murder and weapons charges. For more, visit the Phuket News. com. A three-year prison sentence was handed down by the criminal court to a Thai national over the sale of satirical calendars that the court deemed was defamatory to the monarchy. 26-year-old Naraton Chotman Kon Singh was convicted on Tuesday following a six-day trial. He was arrested back on December 31st, 2020, at his home for selling calendars that featured cartoons of a yellow duck. Officials say the images and descriptions ridiculed and defamed Thailand's King Rama X, and they charged Naraton with committing les majestés, insulting the monarchy. Thailand's pro-democracy and political reform groups have widely used inflatable yellow ducks to symbolize their political cause, which includes reforming the monarchy as a fundamental step toward a democratic transition. Naraton's l e s e majesté conviction for violating Article 12 of the Thai Criminal Code is one of many in recent years since pro-democracy protests began in 2020. Thai authorities have charged more than 200 people with l e s e majesté crimes in relation to their participation in pro-democracy rallies, comments made on social media, and expressing opinions about the monarchy in other venues. Officials have also used Computer-Related Crime Act to prosecute people who have posted critical comments about the monarchy online. Human Rights Watch is calling on authorities to lift the sentence and release Naraton. For more, visit the Phuket News. com. The results of a study by the Department of Health reveal that almost 10% of Thai children are clinically obese. During a briefing to unveil the findings this week, Department Chief Dr. Suwana Chai w a t a n a y i n g Charon Chai said the study suggests youngsters are exposed to an overabundance of food containing unhealthy levels of fat, sugar, and salt. Health Data Center findings suggest that 9.1% of kids who are five years old or younger are considered overweight for their age. The findings are worse for kids between 6 and 14 years old, with 13.4% considered overweight, while 13.2% of youths between 15 and 18 are considered overweight. The findings are in line with another department report into children's diets, which discovered that a third consume sweet snacks and beverages every day, and almost 30% are permitted to select food based purely on their own preferences. The department chief said, "Quote." Parents and schools should teach them how to select good food and what the consequences to their health a poor diet can pose. They should eat sweets no more than twice a week, a serving of fish at least once a week, a maximum of three eggs a week, as well as more calcium-rich foods such as sardines, beans, and lentils. Fresh fruit and vegetables are recommended every day, as is exercise to strengthen muscles and bones. For more, visit the Phuket News. com. The peace process for Thailand's deep south is slowly making progress as negotiations continue between insurgents in the rest of region, the Thai army, and the Malaysian peace facilitator. According to Army Area 4 Commanding General Lieutenant General Santi Sakuntanak, 
the goal is to reach a joint comprehensive plan towards peace among the parties involved in the lead-up to full panel talks this coming June. The Malaysian chief facilitator for the peace dialogue process in southern Thailand visited the kingdom's southern border provinces last week, where he met with delegates from not only insurgent groups, especially those from the Barisan Revolusi Nacional, the BRN group, but also the military. Since the insurgency reignited in 2004, more than 7,000 people have been killed and 13,500 others injured in violence across the Deep South, including Naratiwat, Patani, and Yala provinces, according to Deep South Watch, a local think tank. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket Immigration is supporting a Phuket Red Cross blood donation drive focusing on foreigners, particularly those with RH negative blood, to be held at Central Festival Phuket later this month as well as elsewhere. RH negative blood remains in short supply on the island, according to Phuket Immigration Chief Colonel Tanet Sukchai. RH negative is a rare blood type in the kingdom, but it's much more common among foreigners from Western countries, and foreigners are being urged to donate at any of the mobile blood donation drives on your screen. The ongoing RH negative crisis saw an urgent appeal made just last week for Philip Voronsov, who was struck by a car driven by an Australian man. Voronsov suffered serious injuries to one of his legs in the impact. He's at Vashida Phuket Hospital and is in need of O negative or B negative blood. Blood donations can also be done at the Vashira Phuket Hospital Blood Bank on the fourth floor of the hospital. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow on Thursday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.